Welcome back, Oceanside. I'm Sam Farsky. And I'm Matthew Weininger, and this is your Sailor Station. The second semester has started, and we are officially past the halfway point of the school year. Valentine's Day was this week, and love was spread throughout the hallways of OHS. On the Friday before Valentine's Day, OHS observed P.S. I Love You Day, which is intended as a day to show everyone that they are valued. Let's hear more about it. Good morning. Good morning. On Friday, February 11th, OHS observed P.S. I Love You Day. The day began with students being greeted by teachers and other students. Activities included a hanging heart where students could write a message to teachers and friends. Search was sold by the Mental Health Committee. There was a mural in the main lobby. Everyone was invited to write a positive message on triangles which were added to the mural in the lobby. The day ended with a student presentation on mental health which was followed by a performance by the chorus. <laughs> The mission of the day was to encourage kindness, to remind everyone the importance of focusing on the positive, and to encourage students struggling with mental health issues to seek help. Recently, OHS held its Battle of the Classes. All four grades came out to compete on this highly anticipated night. Let's go ahead and take a look. After a brief delay, Battle of the Classes returned to Oceanside High School, complete with Spirit Week, that included dress-up days and the traditional art contests. We had the Hollywood freshmen, summertime sophomores, Juniors, Inc., and Spooky Seniors. Battle was a night filled with fun sports events and dances and showed some real school spirit. Students were able to come and represent their class. Each grade battled out in different events like Hungry Hippo, Relay Races, Four Corners Volleyball, Obstacle Courses, and many more. The seniors came out victorious in first place, second place were the juniors, third place were the sophomores, and fourth place were the freshmen. That looks like a lot of fun. If you liked battle, then you are sure to enjoy Sport Night, which will be held on March 12th. You can find out more about Sport Night and other events in the Student Activities Office. Which team are you rooting for this year, blue or white? Definitely blue. After a two-year hiatus, Battle of the Bands will be back. This May 13th, student bands will compete to see who is the best. Rumor has it that the faculty band will be back to perform as well. So if you have your own band, regardless of the style of music you play, then this night could be your night to shine. Make sure you listen to the announcements for more details. If you still need help picking out your perfect prom outfit, you can go to the PTA-sponsored Dawn Delirium Fashion Show, which is back in person and will be held on March 3rd. Students, faculty, and staff will be modeling the latest styles. Money raised that night will go towards the Dawn Delirium post-prom party. This year, we lost a beloved member of our staff, Mr. Barry Arrow, who was a security guard for 13 years. The community got together to create a special way to remember him. Let's take a look. Barry Arrow was a security person here at Oceanside High School. He worked here for 13 years. He was a real special person for not only the staff, the students. Interesting about Barry is that he created relationships uh, for a lot with students, especially athletes, because his post was here at the Hall of Fame area. Mr. Chiazza, myself, um, uh, Mr. McGrain, who is the head of security, we, we spoke about what could be best serve Oceanside High School. We decided that a water fountain would be beneficial to every student at Oceanside High and that the location of it would be more meaningful since Barry worked in the Hall of Fame. It was important to memorialize Barry because he created relationships with students and staff, and I think Barry became the symbol for all security in terms of how beloved he was and how important he was to Oceanside High School. Uh, so we decided that we needed to do something to honor his existence and service here at Oceanside High School. Well, when uh, the passing of Barry, we sent an email to the school district um, requesting if anyone wanted to uh, to contribute to the, to the uh, memorial fund. So we had, since we had such a large outpouring of support and um, also Barry's nephew works for a Baldwin Elementary School, so they also contributed. And since we had a decent amount of money, we felt that is something we could do that would be a long-lasting um, memorial. He also was an avid Yankee fan, as you could see and always was talking and celebrating about the Yankees, and that was always a connection to create conversations and relationships. Well, since Barry was a, a huge Yankee fan, 
uh, we decided that um, to dedicate two books about the Yankees and to the Oceanside High School Library that all students could enjoy. And um, inside the books, there was a memorial stamp uh, that dedicates them to Barry. Well, we, we all would like Barry to be remembered for the dedicated employee that he was, an employee who showed concern and uh, the empathy for the students of Oceanside High, no matter where he was posted, uh, mostly including the, uh, the athletes and the, the students who used the gym area. The NFL season has concluded with an exciting Super Bowl. In a close-cutting game, the Los Angeles Rams came out victorious over the Cincinnati Bengals 23-20. The Rams now have two Super Bowls and their first ever in LA. Many teams can now look forward to a fresh start as we all wait for the new season to begin. We hope everyone has a safe and healthy February break. Remember, for all things Sailor Nation, we are the Sailor Station.